holiday. Here we go. Wake up, we'll be on holiday. Super fun. The more fun. <laughs> All packed up and ready to go. Ready and loaded. Look at you. You look super cool. Should we go find Nanny and Grant and Abby? Yeah. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> you waving? Hello everyone from Centre Parks. We are here at Elverdon Centre Parks for a week. We arrived today, it was a little bit of a journey because it should only be like 50 minutes journey from where we live but there was a bit of an accident so we got stuck for a little while but we made it and we've just been exploring and then we're now heading to try and find our lodge I'm just following everybody else because I have no idea where we're going and I don't really know how to read the map Nova's just fallen asleep in the push chair and it's now half four but she was really tired so I think she just needs a little power nap um her whole routine is going to be completely out anyway so it doesn't really matter and hopefully she'll just stay up a bit later tonight. But yeah, we'll have a little explore tomorrow. We've got a football activity booked for her. Excited to go swimming as well. Awesome. <laughs> we made it to our lodge. We have some little guests that we're trying to keep out. You can't come in. You gotta stay out there. Nova's still asleep, but I think I'll probably wake her up soon. Um, but yeah, it's really, really nice. Sort of your standard lodge. We've got a double here. I feel like there might be a duck in the house. Get out, ducky. Get out. You can't come in here. Shoo. We've got a twin room here. And then they've provided, with, provided us with a travel cot. Um bathroom and here with a bath and a shower and then there is another toilet by the front entrance another twin room and then a double room he's eating the grass they're eating Gentle, quiet. the morning <laughs> out here and there's a little deer he's so close isn't he we definitely had a bit of a night didn't we yeah hey? yeah deer yeah no one no one is soft yeah we can't touch him we just look at him Got seven. she um went to sleep really well it was quite late because she had that late nap. he's eating all the carrots hasn't he hey but because she's sharing a room with us which obviously doesn't normally happen at home. It was kind of a bit tricky. Us, me and Tom coming to bed with her in the travel cot. To be honest, her sleep has been pretty much all over the place at home. She went to sleep really well here because she was in the travel cot. She couldn't get out and she was actually really tired by the point when she finally went to bed. It was like probably like half eight, quarter to nine because she'd had that late nap. 
but it's fine we're on holiday we'll just go with the flow see what happens but um are you waving at him yeah. <laughs> but it was about one o'clock half one this morning when she woke up really upset and i think she heard us and like i couldn't sleep properly because i was worried about waking her up so i was being really quiet just waking up she then wanted she just asking for nana and grand my mum and dad because we're on holiday with them so all she wanted was them <clears throat> so i ended up bringing her back into bed with me and tom and she did fall asleep really well then she slept till seven which is fine but i just don't sleep very well when she's in bed with me and i don't want to get into the habit of her sleeping in bed with us but like I said, we're on holiday and we need to just... By the time around, you can see the little deer. Go with the flow. So, it's fine. We've all had enough sleep. This morning at 10, we've got the football, little football tots. So I'm sure she'll really enjoy that. Um, she hasn't been on the bike yet either. Um, they all went and set them up last night. She's never been on the back of a bike. We're borrowing our friends. So that'll be interesting. I'm sure she'll really enjoy that. Um, and then, We'll probably go swimming later on as well. I'm just gonna wing it with her nap and see when she's tired and she can probably head back at some point for her to try and have a nap. If she doesn't go, we'll, she'll have to nap in a push chair. We'll just <laughs> follow her lead basically. But that's the plan for today. Should be lots of fun. Nice to do. Bye dear. You look cool, don't you? Yep, yep. Ready for? Right. Yeah. You excited to go on the bike? Wet. It is wet, isn't it? We just got to dry it a little bit. <laughs> got your bike helmet on for going down the hill. We're now getting ready to go on the bikes. We're going to head to football, aren't we? Kick the ball. Going to kick the ball. Yeah, that'll be fun. Should we go back up the slope now? The bikes. The bikes. The bikes. Are you going to go super fast? Uh, the bike. Who's going to drive the bike? Novali. Novali is? Wow. Whoa. Off you go. See you later. Bye. Big kick. Nobody had loads of fun at the football this morning. We didn't stay the whole time because she was getting a bit tired and hungry um, and had had enough, but what she did do, she did really enjoy. She's absolutely loving the bikes, which is really cute. Uh, we're now, well, we came back, had some lunch, and we actually all just had a nap. We didn't sleep very well last night and she's now had a couple of hours, so hopefully she'll be in a better mood. Now, we're gonna head swimming for the first time. What's that noise? Helicopter. A helicopter? I think there's an aeroplane. Can we get ready to go swimming? No. Go on the bike? Yeah. Yeah. She absolutely loves the bike. The so cute. Bring the toys. Goggles. You got your goggles. Are you ready for swimming? Yeah. And is your baby sister going to come swimming too? Yeah. 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 yeah.
do it nice and gently. You can do it out your hand, look. <gasps> wow. I'm going to do it in your hand. You hold it in your hand. Hold it down nice and gentle. Oh, Put your hand up flat like that with the corner and then you can tip on your hand. Okay. Ah. Yay! Is that good? Yeah. Mm. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Oh, you're free. Hi! Big, big. She got it. Had a bit of a better night's sleep last night, so that's good. We're now getting back on the bikes, and we've got a pottery class book this morning for Novely. Like, I think it's called like Pottery for Tots or something. So, hopefully, she'll be able to paint something. We're gonna go do some painting on the bikes. On the bikes, yeah, to go find the painting. Mummy also wants a coffee, so we might see if we can stop a Starbucks. Yeah. Ready the bikes. Ready the bikes. I do know some stuff, don't you, girl? Babies have come out. Yeah, Where do the babies come out of? In the nest. In the nest. I saw the pigeon go in there. Can you choose one that you would like to do? Oh, it's nice. What else would you like? Josh, you want that little jungle bag? Duck. Penguin. You're doing so good, Nova. She's actually surprising me with her attention span on it. Yeah, she is. You're on the top, you're on the sandcastle. <laughs> wow, look, can you see your footprints in the sand? Turn around. <gasps> look at your footprints. had an absolute great time pottery painting I would highly highly recommend that as an activity it took about half an hour so obviously not too long but it was just enough time for her to do what she wanted and she painted a bunny and she chose all the colors so she really really enjoyed it we then quickly cycled back me and Tom with Novely and I've now popped in the push chair so Tom's gone back to play badminton with my mum dad and sister um, and I'm now just walking back in because she needed a nap but I thought it's better just be letting her nap in the push chair because if not if she naps back at the apartment we'll be there for like I don't know two hours or something and we don't want to waste that time I don't want to have to be stuck there while she's napping so hopefully she'll fall asleep now in the push chair for a little while I've made her a little pat lunch so she's got some food for when she wakes up and then hopefully we'll have time for another activity or swimming this afternoon and then we've got a table booked at Bella Italia this evening at like 5, 5 30 something like that so we just want to make sure we can get as much in the day like as, do as much as we can basically before that I'm really out of puff <sighs> I shouldn't have pushed her while I was pregnant and it's, it was a bit chilly but now the sun's come out so I'm a bit warm actually so I might have to take my hoodie off in a minute but I'll meet those guys in a bit and hopefully she'll have had a good nap 
and then we'll be ready to do some more fun activities. She's such a daredevil though because she absolutely loved being on those water slides yesterday with Tom on her lap. She thought that was the best thing ever so and she loved the waves. So we've definitely got to do that again today and then excitingly tomorrow Tom's mum and dad, sister and partner are all coming to join us for the day so they'll be able to have fun with Novali and again do probably do some swimming and find a few bits to do. I want to see if we can get like a boat or something out because I thought that would be quite fun. There's like loads of activities that we want to do but I think it's more what we're prepared to pay for because it is expensive and what time we've got. We've only got two more days left after today but yeah we're having a really really lovely time. You're having a picnic? No. Picnic? No. No? Just eating your chocolate frog? Oh thank you. Come on then. Swim this way. and got sorted there's now been a bit of a downpour but we just missed it so we cycled back and we're now going to Bella Italia for some food and then there's like a little kid disco I think between like six and eight so we're gonna try and find that after we've eaten and just go from there really yeah you've a lovely hair tied up we're gonna walk over the bridge over the bridge. Stamp over the bridge. It's a great job. Yeah. Roll up. absolutely loved the disco last night i'm hoping we can go back again tonight because she really enjoyed it to start with she was like just stood there and didn't really know what to do but once she'd built her confidence she was just off and she didn't want anything to do with me and tom she was just grooving so that was really cute we're now up and out and we're now going to the pancake house for some breakfast and then tom's parents should be coming on site a little bit later on we're going to meet them so they're going to join us for the day we've got some tennis booked but i don't know if i'll do that because of this and because it might be when Novali's napping in the push chair so we'll just kind of see we've got to go and collect her bunny that she made yesterday because they have to like kill it over 
overnight. So we've got to go and collect that after one today and then we'll end up swimming, I'm assuming, at some point. Just gonna see how it goes. We've got some barbecue food for later on as well. Um, Tom's parents are gonna be taking the bikes back today because we leave tomorrow and they bought them in their van. So they'll take them home when they leave tonight. It's just like a few bits to sort out. Um, but yeah, it should be a really nice day. The sun is shining again. It's looking lovely. Take the logs. Take the logs away. Bye. The child that's obsessed with tractors and diggers. to go oh you can probably tell by my face how little sleep i had last night i think nobody's starting to get cold so she had a really bad night's sleep so that meant we all had a really bad night's sleep um but we're now just driving back to the car park and we've got a boat ride soon and then we might go swimming later depending on her mood and how she's feeling and all that kind of thing she's definitely tired as well so she's gonna have to have a nap at some point last day and then we're heading home later <laughs> Yeah. 